Hey guys, this is Andrew Gamer GL here, and welcome back to yet another video. Now, as you guys know, I did promise that I would have some content out for Paw Patrol soon, and even though this has been well known for a while and has been talked about for a bit in the fandom, I figured it's probably best to touch this topic, cause it's better late than never, right? Well, the first news or update that I would like to talk on for Paw Patrol is that basically we got a small confirmation from Kim Kardashian herself that she is going to be returning to voice in the Mighty movie, the second Paw Patrol movie that is coming out um, next year. And to be honest, um, I didn't think she was uh, going to be coming back, so that was a pretty big surprise to me. And even though she didn't specify which character she would be playing at, I'm sure it's very likely she's coming back to reprise the role of Dolores. Cal Brunker has yet to say any word or statement on this, but I think she's pretty reliable source if she it says that she has been working on it for a while. But that is not the main topic of discussion that I would like to talk about for Paw Patrol today. Because instead I would like to talk about something that I've noticed might actually become a trend for the Paw Patrol Pups in the near future. Because as you guys know, we've had multiple leaks of characters for the new Aqua Pup subseries, such as this Murpop dude, who we know now his name is Moby, and this Murpop girl, who we know her name is Coral. And before I continue any on, I just want to say that I absolutely love Coral's uh, style and design right here. If you guys ch check me out on my Discord or even check the Paw Patrol Fanatic server, you might have noticed that I put Coral as my profile picture and even nicknamed myself to cutie pie coral <laughs> but yeah so what i wanted to say is is not too long ago we had some new information recently revealed about these two and basically i'm gonna start with moby first so moby we know now is a Portuguese water dog, which is a pretty interesting breed that they decided to introduce for the show. And basically, he is a, a merpop who desperately or really badly wants to walk on four legs, on hind legs, and that he has grown tired of all the singing and celebrations from the Murpops. And he basically wants to avoid all of that by becoming a normal dog on all fours so he could just have some time to himself, along with his squid pal, Mick Squidly, which I also find to be a pretty unique name for and we don't know if Mick Squidly is going to be a toy or an actual pet squid that Moby is going to have to help assist him. Kind of similar like Busby with Sweetie, in a way. But anyways, 
So yeah, that was the description for Moby. But the description that we got for Coral was interesting to say the least. Basically, um she was a do a normal dog at first, but one magical night a merpup touched noses with her or somewhere and turned her into a merpup and not just a merpup for one night like an actual merpup that she could turn into anytime she wants to which i find that a bit contradicting to what the Paw Patrol writers said in the early seasons of seasons 2 and 4. But let's be honest. When has Paw Patrol ever been consistent with continuity? They've never been. I mean, it's something I've complained about a lot in the past. But I'm not gonna complain it about it anymore because it's happened way too many times, so we move on from that. But that is still not the most interesting part of her character. Basically, she is also revealed to be Sky's long lost cousin. Yeah. We are actually going to get a family member related to one of the main Paw Patrol pups. I don't think Tracker's grand dog counts because he was only mentioned by Tracker and he didn't even make a cameo appearance. So we can't really count that. So, I will say, I was pleasantly surprised when this was revealed, because this was a path I didn't think the Paw Patrol writers would have considered was worth tackling. But, I'm curious and interested, because I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've had a family relative to any of the main six pups or any member of the Paw Patrol to be exact. So yeah, I am pretty curious on what they are potentially going to do with her character. And also I'm interested to see what they do with Moby's because Moby's character does seem to have that misunderstood villain kind of vibe where uh, people think that he's doing one certain bad thing but it's because he actually has a motive that and he doesn't really want to do those things you know I'm kind of getting that vibe from Moby but anyways that is enough talking about Aqua Pops, which I believe will come out early next year. Because apparently Sky is not going to be the only pop that is going to have family members or relatives revealed. So, you guys remember a while ago where it was revealed that Rubble would be getting his own spin-off series called Rubble and Crew, which would be released sometime in 2023, just before the Mighty movie came out. Well, we finally got some more information regarding that. So, as you could see over here, by this picture from the Meet the Family, we could see that Rubble is over here, and he has two other pups 
alongside him, which I could only assume are his brother and sister. And I uh, noticed an interesting detail that Rubble's uh, supposed brother actually has a robotic uh, leg, it seems, on his back. I can't tell if both of his back legs are robotic, but I'm pretty sure this would make him the second disabled pup that has been introduced in the series besides Rex. And they all seem to have relatively similar hard hats and pup symbols. And I basically would assume that this is basically Rubble's own little construction rescue crew that he runs with his family. Pretty much a similar route that the Patrick Star Show decided to go for Spongebob by introducing a whole family for Patrick. I don't mind this really, I'm actually quite interested to see the dynamic between Rubble and his family, and I'm pretty curious to see that. But I'm also curious on what kind of role will Ryder and the other pups have? Will they be making frequent appearances here and there? for Rubble and crew? Or are they just gonna make random minor cameo appearances but not show up that much in this show? I personally wouldn't be surprised if they go for that route because I've seen most spin-off shows do that kind of thing, but it would be nice to get a cameo here and there from any of the pups. And also, uh, Rubble and crew also got an updated release date, which is for spring 2023. So we know for sure it is also sometime around early 2023. Also, on top of that, I would like to add to that this news is there has been a recent new Paw Patrol live event that is going to be coming soon next year as well called Paw Patrol Heroes Unite, which basically the plot is that Mayor Humdinger would kidnap RoboDog and make clones of him, which would cause chaos all around the supposed world. And basically, the Paw Patrol would need to reunite with all of its members and allies to help stop Mayor Humdinger and stop the chaos. So, basically, Everest and Liberty have already been confirmed to appear in that live show. And I don't know if they're going to be including any other Paw Patrol members for this live event. I hope they do. Would be pretty cool to see. But also, I uh, it's probably also the closest we're going to get for all of the female pups getting together. So yeah. 2023 is certainly shaping up to be a very big and interesting year for Paw Patrol. And I'm pretty interested to see what step they take from here. Also... Cal Brunker has been randomly tweeting uh, every now and then, like every two months, I'd say, about how excited he is for us to see what they have been doing for the Mighty Movie. So, 
I wonder what kind of juicy stuff Cal Brunker has in store for us. But anyways, that's all really the recent news to talk about Paw Patrol. And I'm going to end this video here. So if you guys have enjoyed this video and basically me giving a rundown on what's been happening pretty recently with the show, then hit that like button down below and if you're new to my channel at all, then hit that subscribe button. I do still have one more video planned to make after this and I might go on again on another mini break after that video, but be sure to stay tuned for that. It's not going to be Paw Patrol related, and it's not going to be Talking Tom and Friends related. It's going to be something else, and it's basically going to be based on a show that I wish I had gotten interested into a lot earlier, but missed out. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time andrew gamer gl here peace out